Alright, hey guys, how's it going? This is Floodmon14 here. And we're back with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Let's see, let me get this adjusted here real quick. Okay, I think that looks good. Alright, in the last episode we uh, dueled versus, uh, who did we duel? Uh, oh yeah, I was just editing my deck there a little bit. Uh, yeah, we dueled versus Yugi and Bakura. Bakura. Not the evil one, but we dueled versus uh, the uh, regular Bakura. Oh yeah, I was editing my deck there. Uh, basically, I took out uh, a few of the uh, spells and traps we really don't use, like a reverse trap and... Um, looking for a new opponent here. And what else did I take out? Like, block attack, I think? Yeah, so... Oh, we found Joey. <laughs> Alright, let's do it, Joey. Maybe an amateur. Combos and techniques, but you won't find anyone who fights harder than me. Let's do it. But, uh, yeah, I took out, uh... Yeah, those two cards and put in... Um... I put back in, like, Beaver Warrior and Hornia. Um... I, I just, I, I think uh, having the monsters will be a bit more useful, and uh, especially since we don't really use those cards at all, so. Alright, but without further ado, without further ado, let's do. Alright, Joey, what you gonna do? Oh, wow, there it is. Panther Warrior, strong right off the bat, huh, Joey? Wow, alright. I can respect that. Let's see, I draw. So we got a few monsters here, which is good. Because we can stall out for a while. Uh, only problem is, nothing we have is really strong enough to take on Panther Warriors, so. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like we're going to have to play defensively here for a while. Alright. Wow. Starting off strong, Joey. All right, whoa, Axe Raider too, huh? Wow. Hmm. Uh, I could use Negate Attack, but I'm not gonna use it right there. Hmm. Let's see, I wonder if, uh, as far as Negate Attack goes, I wonder if, you know, he tributes, uh, if he still has to tribute, oh, okay, yeah, he does. Wow, he has a tribute axe reader. <laughs> and then we can still negate it. Okay, good. I'll, I'll do that. I'll play negate attack now. Yeah, because 2,000, that's that's a lot of direct damage, but uh, we may have to just end up taking that. I don't know. Cat needs some, something to turn that around. Uh, Shadow of Eyes. Not really what we need right now. Um... Well, I guess I'll just set Baron of the Fiend Sword. And in my turn. Hmm. Boy, Joey's got us in a pickle a little early. And a little wing guard. Hmm. This is a problem. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna need. Well, really, there's only one or two specific cards that will help us turn this around. Uh, like Skull Dice? And then maybe one of the equip cards, like Sword of Dark Destruction or Stim Pack. Well, I, or I guess Swords of Revealing Light would be good. So, I don't know, we'll see if we can draw one of those. If not, uh, wow, well, looks like I might have to... Reset against Joey again here, man. Joey, so tough. Oh, Muka Muka, wow. Hmm. Uh, man, I kind of wish I kept Shadow Wise in my hand. But Muka Muka, you know, as much as it's gonna suck to take a direct attack here, uh, Muka Muka may be our way out. Cause if I get enough cards in my hand, it will be oh good. Perfect, and he didn't draw a monster to sacrifice, so yes, yeah, crazy as it is, man. 
I don't know, I'm just gonna gonna end my turn again. Try to go with Mocha Mocha. I don't know, it's really our only shot here, so. Dangerous Machine. Okay. Yeah, seems like our best shot, really. So we got Arm Ninja. Hmm. You know, maybe I should play that first and take out Dangerous Machine. There's really no hurry. I mean, I could play Mooka Mooka now and try to attack Panther Warrior, but... Man, he's got five, four face-down cards. I don't know. Yeah, this isn't looking good. Let me put it that way. My goodness. To... Uh, oh, man, that makes me discard a card, too. Well, I don't know. Not looking like we'll be able to pull off Mooka Mooka. Uh, sad, sadly to say, but... Man. Joey, you are being really tough in this duel, man. I mean, I guess I could have uh, set a couple monsters there while he wasn't attacking with Panther Warrior, but... Still. Well, at least we're gonna get rid of your dangerous machine, so that's good. Yeah. Definitely good there. Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna need some stuff. Ooh, man, Joey. You are tough today. Uh, Panther Warrior. Wow. Well, yeah, it was only a matter of time before he started getting that kind of strategy. Fairy Meteor Crush. Don't really need it right now. Alright, I'm gonna try to save one more card in my hand for Mooka Mooka. But, I mean, really, it's all eggs in one basket. He could, he'll probably easily finish it off. Oh, Eternal Rest. Okay, good. Okay. So, even if this Mooka Mooka plan fails, we can still destroy Panther Warrior with uh, Fairy Meteor Crush and Eternal Rest. So, that's good. Alright, Joey. Yeah. Kind of had to figure, man. He had something. But that's the first time he's played Graceful Dice, so there's that. Yep. Get him up to 25 hundo. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of Panther, Joey. Oof. I play my Graceful Dice. Oh, yikes. Well, we tried, Mooka Mooka. We tried. Man, Joey, he hasn't even taken a single hit yet. That is scary. Alright. Well, you leave me no choice here, Joey. Play Fairy Meteor Crush on your Panther Warrior. And I'm going to play Eternal Rest. Which will silence your Panther Warrior forever. Alright. Good. Wow. So, we managed to barely get ourselves out of that jam. Luckily, he sort of ran dry on monsters there. I mean, if he hadn't, I, <laughs> we, we definitely would have lost by now. But, Needle Wall 2. Man. <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm going to go for it. I mean, we kind of we kind of have to. We're behind. And uh, he has Needle Wall 2. We're behind it and a Pickle. Crawling Dragon Direct Attack. Alright, well, I'm glad that went through. I don't know, we may have a shot here. Uh, especially if Joey keeps, you know, not drawing monsters, so. We'll see. Can we make an epic comeback here, guys? I don't know. We'll see. I activate my Needle Wall Trap card. Oh, thank God, five. Wow, okay, that's a good miss. That's a big miss. Oh wow, another slowdown. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I, I don't know what's causing uh, causing it to lag here lately, but something is. Wow. But yeah, last last episode kind of lagged about ten minutes in two, but uh, whatever was causing it kind of uh, just went away on its own, honestly. So not gonna worry about it too much. But all you shadow of eyes. Whatever he said there. Oh, Paddle Warrior? Okay. Good, good. 
great use of Shadow of Eyes there, that's for sure. Alright. Well, hopefully this lag won't last too long again, like I said. Yeah, there it goes. Wow. Man, I don't know what's doing that. Okay, Crimson Ninja. Good. Good, good. So hopefully we can destroy... We can destroy Needle Wall, too. Okay. Well, that's good. So we drew both of our ninjas, you know, kind of right away. Each one to counter each of his uh, two cards. So that's... It's kind of lucky, really. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it's lucky or not. We gotta. We still have to get past Needle Wall, believe it or not. So, Crimson Shinobi face down. All right. I don't know what number he would have to roll to kill Crimson Ninja, but I hope it doesn't happen here. Well, honestly, if it does happen, it's not the worst thing. But three. Well. Yeah, that's bad. Destroys our crawling dragon, but at least that way Arm Ninja stays. And uh, oh man, another dangerous machine. Man. All right. Oh, perfect, perfect. We true to spell. So this destroys a spell card on the field. Uh, you can also try and guess and destroy a face down card. Uh, but yeah, wow, that is great. Now, I know our points are low, but I think it's definitely worth it to take out both Needle Wall and Dangerous Machine. Wow, that is great. Alright, D-Spell. Yeah, I'm glad I destroyed, decided to keep both, because uh, I thought about just taking Arm Ninja out last episode, but definitely glad we decided to keep both, you know, D-Spell and Arm Ninja yeah, that way in case we can't draw one, we draw the other. But in this duel, we drew both, which is great. Oh, man. Whew. I don't know what I would have done, honestly, without... Ugh. And you you got to have spell and trap removal against Joey. Well, and Bakura, too. I mean, I mean, if not, there's really... You have a great chance of losing, let me put it that way. All right, with that, we finally take the lead. Joey's at 3,400 points. So. All right, we may be able to do this. Rocket Warrior. Yeah, I'm not surprised he... Oh, man. Wow. That is not good. Okay, but thankfully he attacked... Crimson Ninja there. Hmm. Now I kind of forget Rocket Warrior's effect. Is it, uh... Man, that really hurts. Let's see. If I attack with Giant Red Sea Snake, will it kill us both? Is my question. Hmm. Dunno. Dunno. Skull Dice. Wow. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll set Skull Dice. Uh only applied during the battle phase of your own turn. Okay, so I don't think um I don't think Yeah, this should kill both of us. Uh so and really that's a move I sort of have to make here. Okay, good. He didn't play like his own skull dice. <laughs> yeah, really that's the only move I could make there. Oof. Man, Metal Morph. That's a good card. We definitely want to try to get that in the future. Ooh, that was scary, though. Oh, boy, Joey. Oof. You are pushing me to the limit in this duel. Alright, we'll set Whiptail Crow for our defense. Your time, Joey. Alright, what you gonna do? I summon alligator sword in attack mode. Uh, classic. Alright, Joey. That's a good card, but you ran into my whiptail crow. Uh, well, if he doesn't play... Okay. So he didn't play any dice cards, so... Uh, I don't think he has skull dice or graceful dice face down, because I'm pretty sure he would have played it there in that situation. Which is good. 
one less thing to worry about. Prevent rat. Okay, that's good. That's good too. All right. Here we go, Joey. Time for me to defeat that alligator sword of yours. Whiptail crew, attack! Pick him off into the skies and drop him down a pit. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, we got you there, Joey. Let's see, now I'll set Prevent Rat, so that's good. We got both a good offense and defense here. Good, and I have Kazajin. Uh, hmm, honestly, that would be great if we could get him out, but, uh, yeah, pot of greed. Oh, are you gonna time wizard me, Joey? What? Dude, that's like two duels in a row where he's, uh, he's drawn pot of greed, but, he just, he's, he's come up with nothing. Wow, that is crazy, man. I don't really know how to explain that. Like, most of the time, when they get Pot of Greed, they'll at least, like, I mean, most of the time, let's turn the duel around, they'll play, like, Raigeki or, you know, something crazy. Dark Hole, whatever. Mirror Force. But, yeah, at the very least, if they don't turn it around, usually they'll at least get a monster, but, Wow. I don't know what to say about that, guys. We honestly, I mean, we turned it around, but I can't believe how lucky we got there. Crimson Ninja, Arm Ninja, and D-Spell. That's great. Man, Joey. 1950. Definitely going to save after that. Oh, great. And we level up to level 4, guys. Great. Yeah, Reversal Finish Bonus. So that's a new bonus for us. Man. Alright, and that takes us all the way back up to 1316 on the point, so that's good. <laughs> no! I lost! Alright, so back home we go. Man, that was a tough one. But I, I kind of like dueling Joey, though. I mean, you gotta admit, that was an exciting duel. That was pretty good. Alright. I'm going to get a sip of my drink here. I think this will be the last episode that I record for uh, today. Or uh, tonight, should I say. Yeah, I actually tried recording this during the day, and... It just... It turned out horribly. Let me say, it turned out really bad. I don't, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, the glare on it was just... Just awful, man. Awful. All right, let's see here. Huh. Okay, so I expect to run into Joey again. Oh no, finally, okay. This is what we've been looking for, guys. The main character, hey, it's Yugi. And you are. There's something different about him. Yeah, I don't know. He kind of seems taller, more confident, sexier. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, I remember you. You dueled my partner. Your what? What are you talking about? Oh, wow! Like I completely predicted the, the next line. <laughs> I think I said that word for word. Sorry, I don't have time to explain right now. Ah, uh, there are some dark forces at work he here. And I must chase them. It's dangerous to be outside at night. You should go home. Yugi left. Okay. I wonder what's up with him. He acted totally different than before. Yeah. Alright, so there we go. That's what we wanted right there. So that's going to be the first, uh, you know, sort of a story event that you want to trigger, trigger, that you want to trigger in the game here. Yeah, and there's Joey again. But yeah, you definitely want to, uh, you know, keep uh, uh, roaming around at night until you run into Yami Yugi there. So that's good. That's step one. Um, the next thing we want to do, um, now that we've done that, as far as the storyline, the next thing we want to do, I think is we want to run into, uh, Serenity during the daytime. Um, so yeah. There we go. Alright, good, good. So I ran into Yami Yugi, so even if I, like, lose this duel here, um, definitely gonna save because, um... Yeah, that'll progress the story for us. That's good. That's really good. 
All right, well, we got a good hand here. Uh, we can power up Baron with Dark Energy, and we can weaken Joey's monsters with Skull Dice, too. So, we got Trap Ball, in case he plays, uh, <laughs> plays that Panther Warrior strategy again. So, I think we're in good shape for now. Axe Raider. Well, I'm not going to play Trap Hole because, yeah, even if we get a 1 on Dice Jar, that's still, um, that's still a tie. So, yeah, not going to play Trap Hole on that, Joey. 6, wow, great. <laughs> Looks like Lux on our side, this duel, Joey. All right, go Axe Raider. I counterattack with my Great White Shock. Go, Hunting Instinct. Awesome. Your cart shatters to pieces, Joey. Alright, Dangerous Machine Type 6. Not, not a surprise there. Alright, I draw. Ooh, Blind Destruction. Okay, so that's what he's going with this tool. Hmm. Luckily, I just drew into D spell, so don't have to worry about dangerous machine, which is good. Trust me. Uh, okay, so there's that. Now I could play Baron of the Fiend Sword, but that's level four too. So yeah, what I'm gonna do in this duel is be a little more careful, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna attack with just Great White. Um, if I get a monster of a different level, <clears throat> I'll be more than glad to... Or a monster that, you know, has good defense when I set it. I'll be glad to set that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll be a little careful here with Blind Destruction. Because if he would have rolled a 4 there, I mean, yeah, we could have done some good damage, but... Uh, this way, even if he does get lucky, we still have some cards in our hand. One, okay. Eh, maybe I should have gone for it, but I think playing it safe in this situation is honestly good. Wow, another Axe Raider, Joey. Really? Man, dude. Alright, well, I'm going to trap all this for sure. Protect my Great White. Fall into the pit of despair, Joey. You ran into my trap card. Magic Drain. Okay. Set that. And we will attack directly with Great White. Alright. Well, we're doing pretty good. He has only two cards left in his hand, so... And it's not like he can keep drawing strong monsters like Axe Raider forever. So. Alright, end my turn, Joey. Your turn. I play the Blind Destruction. And let's see what I roll. A four. <laughs> this destroys all your level four monsters. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to avoid right there. So he didn't destroy Baron, which is good for me. Now I attack you directly with my Visago. Oh, man. I don't think Joey ever used uh, Versago or any of the fusion substitutes in his deck. You know, in the real show, but um, honestly, that would have been pretty smart for him to do. Ooh, Crimson Ninja, okay. So, I can destroy Blind Destruction, but um, I'm going to destroy Versago here because, um, yeah, uh, that's really sort of uh, another part of Joey's strategy is his fusions and. Uh, Versago definitely helps with that. I don't want him to keep it, that's for sure. Go, Baron. Destroy Versago. Alright. Yeah, because, uh, let's see, what fusions does Joey have? I think he probably has Flame Swordsman. <sighs> and, of course, he has Thousand Dragon. Um... You know, I'm not sure if he has Black Skull Dragon or not. You know, I don't see why not, since he has Versago. Um, so, Black Skull Dragon, and his last card would be maybe Alligator Sword Dragon? Because I, I think that's a thing. I think that's a thing in this duel, in this game. So, 
Um, you know, and he might have a fusion like Guilty of the D Knight, because I know he plays that card in uh, Duelist Kingdom, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had that fusion, so. Yep. Alright, Baron, attack. Good, good, good. Alligator Sword. Alright, so we're getting rid of his, like, good monsters here, so that's... That's good. And Blind Destruction's not screwing us too much, you know, just a little bit. Just enough. So... Alright, but I'll be able to, to, to destroy it next turn with Arm Ninja. Hmm. If I had to pick a worse... Like, which cards of his... You know that we've seen that's the worst. Um, I would say Blind Destruction's probably... It's not the... Oh, oh, Joey. Well, he finally did it, guys. Here it is, Time Wizard, and I guarantee you he's gonna call it right here. I can pretty much guarantee you. What? No way, dude. He called it wrong? Well. Open mouth, insert foot. I can't believe he called that wrong there. What? Wow. Well, I think I addressed this in another episode, but uh, yeah, whenever I played this as a kid, I swear, man, I swear, Joe, <laughs> I swear he called that Time Wizard right like every single time, man. Wow. Okay, well, we're in a great position now because. Now Joey's only down to like one card in his hand, so wow, and he failed with Time Wizard. Well, I mean, if that happens, you know, when you're dueling him, just I don't know, just just jump for joy, just <laughs> like, because honestly, there's I would not count on that happening like ever again <laughs> in this LP. So, all right. Uh, should I even play Kazage in here? Yeah, I probably should, honestly. So, yeah. Sacrifice my two monsters, Joey. Alright, that gets rid of Dark Energy. And now I'll play a card you faced in the anime. Kazage, God wins. Alright. Yeah, definitely want to get that Yami card. I mean, we got... So many fiends. I mean, Kazajin to spellcaster. Man, that would really help us out. Let's see. Ooh, pot of greed. All right. Let's see if we can draw something to finish him off. I played pot of greed. Hopefully, like fairy meteor crush. Since we draw two cards. Eh, not fairy meteor, but this should do. Crawling dragon. All right. And he has only 1150 life points left. So we'll just play it safe, attack him first with Kazajin, and Crawling Dragon should finish him off. Ah, a baby dragon, huh? Yeah, I had baby dragon face down. <laughs> oh yeah, another one of Joey's good cards. I don't think we've seen him play it, but uh, uh Grave Robber. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I play Grave Robber. Let's me steal a card from your graveyard. <laughs> You guys remember in the anime, like, every time you play that card, it'd be like, ha, ha, ha. It'd have, like, this little, I don't know, this little coy laugh. I loved it. <laughs> Grave robber. Alright. We win, Joey. No! <laughs> Alright, Joey, what do you have to say for yourself? No! I lost. I'm sorry, Serenity. Your blindness. I wasn't able to help you. Alright, good. And let's see, what time are we at? 29 minutes. Um, you know, I honestly don't think we have time for another duel. Um, but I'm gonna try. I don't know, I guess I'll try to do maybe one more. You know, no, I should probably end it off here, but uh, I kind of want to try to do one more duel, man. I don't know, because it should be the last duel of the night, too, so I don't know. Maybe we can do 
try to do a real quick one here? I don't know. Let's see. Eh, well, versus Joey. I don't know. Well, hopefully we'll get either a quick win or a quick loss. So, I don't know. Yeah, in this duel I'll probably be a little more aggressive. Just because we're running low on time. So, let's see if we can do it. Come on, Joey. No, quit stalling for time. I don't have time for your tying rock, paper, scissors. That's right. I am the king of rock, paper, scissors. Alright, let's do this, Joey. Joey? What was I about to say there? I don't know. Yeah, let's see if we can do this real quick, Joey. Come on, come on. Let's go. Alright, so I'll play Tail Crow. And two face downs. Alright. Well, I guess if I don't finish this duel in this episode, we'll try to continue it on the next episode. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, I'll kind of have to. Wait, X Raider again, bro. <laughs> Man, he plays that quite, uh, quite often, doesn't he? It's a good card, though. Honestly, it's better than most of my monsters that are playing. Ooh, Pot of Greed. Uh, well, I don't want him turning this around, so I'll play Magic Drain on that. It's, it's not a bad play of Magic Drain, honestly. I mean, there are worse spells out there, sure, but... Ooh, we made him discard Polymerization. Wow. Might be huge in this duel, honestly. <laughs> All right, Joey. Let's see what you got. And need a wall. Well, on the off chance you do destroy my crow, I don't want Sword of Hatred returning to the top, so... Uh, but you seem to be playing stuff like Axe Raider, so I will equip Dark Energy. Yeah. Alright, Rope Tail Crow, direct attack. But yeah, uh, if this duel, uh, oh yeah, and I may get cut off here just because of pure time, but, uh, yeah, if that happens, um, I'll try to see if I can, like, save the state on this duel and try to continue in the next episode, because it doesn't look like I'll be able to finish him off quick here, so, eh, we'll see, though, we'll see what happens, okay, yeah, definitely not gonna finish this duel in this episode, uh, a three, man, that needle wall is sick, dude. Ah, oh, Versago, huh? 11 hundo. Alright, well we have Swords of Revealing Light, so... Not worried... yet. Alright. I draw. Dispel, huh? Well, that's good. We'll probably play it later. But, I'll just play Swords, and end my turn, Joey. So what are you gonna do? Might be a good thing we use Magic Drain, cause, uh... Yeah, he has Versago. Dangerous Machine. Hmm. Alright. Well, I got a card to stop that Dangerous Machine. Uh... Hmm. But honestly... I'm not going to destroy a Dangerous Machine Type 6 yet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to set my cards face down so they don't get discarded by the effect. But I'm actually going to leave Dangerous Machine up right now. Um, hopefully, like, he'll roll the one that lets me draw a card. That's what I'm hoping for. And I could use it. Oh, see? Destroyed itself. Great decision, Josh. Good decision. Wow, okay. I'm definitely glad I did that then. I summon Tiger Axe. <laughs> uh, classic. Alright, let's see if we can draw a monster here. No. Okay. Well. Wow, when we do draw a monster, we can definitely soup it up. Don't know if I will, though, because I need a wall, but... I may have to. I may have no choice. Well, that's it for swords. I think we definitely played it good. 
Yikes, he got three monsters on the field, so... Let's see, time machine, hmm. Good, but not what I need right now. I'll just set it for now. Alright, Joey. Looks like he may finish this off pretty quick here, so... Yeah. Baby dragon! Wow. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Battle warrior. <laughs> Alright. Man, four direct attacks, so this is... Oh... Wow. This guy that finishes off here. I play graceful dice. Oh, man. And Joey, you would get a six, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think that's game, guys. I Honestly, I mean, that adds up. 600, and each monster gets 600 more, so... Dude, I think that's game. If it's not, it's going to be pretty close. Oh, my God, Joey. Wow. Well, I did say I wanted a quick duel, but... I mean, I didn't want to lose, though. Gosh. Well, yeah, not much I could have done, honestly, though. Is this going to finish this? No, we'll have 200 left. Wow. Well... Okay. Well, if I don't get a monster here, basically... Yeah, I'm just going to end the video and... Cause we'll need to reset. Oh, negate attack. Hmm. Man, dude. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is long odds. Wow. Oh, Joey. I play negate attack. Guess what this card does? Joey, it negates your attack. It ends the battle phase too, so that's good. Uh, Baron of the Fiend Sword, okay. Wow. Well, I'll play it. I almost had to go for sort of deep seated here, really. Really don't have any other choice. Uh, yeah, because he's got so many monsters on the field now. He could sacrifice for red eyes or yeah and I don't want him bringing out panther warrior either so alright um so I will attack I'll actually destroy over kunai with chain oh it's over yeah I activate kunai with chain so that switches my monster to defense mode and also uh yeah, also, yes, this is Tiger X, 500 more. Yeah, I think this is over. Joey definitely won here. Pretty sure. So, wow. Good game, Joey. Good game. Hmm. Yep, we kind of ran dry on monsters. Honestly, I think that's why we. Metal Morph 2, bro? Jeez. Whew. Where's a royal decree when you need one, huh? Wow, Joey. Oh. Well, yeah, that's definitely going to be game then. Um, yeah, no matter what I do here, it's, it's over. Oh, gosh. Wow. Well, we lost again to Joey. I mean, wait, I can play something? Oh, I can play Time Machine. Uh, doesn't help much, honestly, here. But I'll play it anyway. I'll play to the end, Joey. Time Machine revives my Baron of the Fiend Sword. Whew. Man, that's a deadly board, though. Kunai of the Chain. Well, I must say, so we lost to Joey again. That's alright, I mean, uh, still a pretty good duel. Alright, well, I think that's going to be the end of this episode, guys, so in the next episode, we'll see if uh, we can encounter Joey again, and I can get my sweet, sweet revenge. No! <laughs> Alright, so I will see you guys next time.
Yeah, baby. That's all hot. Alright, see you later, guys. Oh, man.